problem number four. So it says, if f of x equals x squared minus 3x minus 4 all over x squared minus 1, okay, <coughs> and p equals the limit as x approaches 1 from the left-hand side of f of x, and q equals the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right-hand side. So to evaluate this problem, we have to evaluate these limits, okay? So we have to find what P and Q are, all right? So first thing we may want to do is try and see if this F of X factors, okay? And it factors into X minus 4 and X plus 1, okay? And the denominator factors into X minus 1 times x plus one. Okay? <coughs> so, we see from the factorization that the x plus ones cancel out. Okay? So that will leave us with x minus four over x minus one. Okay? <coughs> so that would be what f of x reduces to. Okay? <coughs> Alright, so now we should try and evaluate p of x. Okay? So it's the limit as x approaches 1 from the left-hand side, or from the right-hand side of f of x, okay? So it's the limit as x approaches 1 from the limit of x minus 4 over x minus 1, okay? So if we plug in 1, we're going to get, okay, 1 minus 4, which is negative 3, over 1 minus 1, which is 0, okay? <coughs> so this tells us that it's undefined, okay? But since we're taking the limit from the right-hand side, <coughs> um, we have to try and plug in a value very, very close to 1, but on the left-hand side, okay? Because 3 over 0 tells us it might go to positive infinity or negative infinity. We have to find out which one, okay? So I'm going to try x is about 0 0.99, okay? All right. So, <coughs> if we do that, okay, we're going to get 0 0.99 minus 4, so it would be negative 3.01, okay? And then this would be over 0 0.99 minus 1, which is negative 0 0.01, okay? So the important part of this problem is to see what is the sign of this answer, okay? So we see that we have a negative over a negative, okay? So that means this limit should go to positive infinity, okay? All right? So it's because we plug in x is approaching uh, 1 from the right-hand side, Okay, or from the left hand side, okay, we plug it in and get a positive. Okay, so we apply the same thing for Q. All right, we still have f of x equaling x minus 4 over x minus 1. Okay, so if we plug in negative 1, let's see what that gives us. Okay, so we're going to get negative 1 minus 4 over negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 5 over negative 2 equals 5 halves. Okay? So this means P equals infinity and Q equals 5 halves. Okay? So of our answer choices, that is E.